Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. Today I'm gonna be trying out three water washable resins from Zhangahe. Now they sent me these three bottles to check out and it is actually the first time that I am ever going to use water washable resin. I usually just use IPA to clean everything, but with this stuff you don't have to. You can just use regular water. Doesn't mean that you can't use IPA, just means that you don't have to. Now the three colors that I have here includes clear green. This one here is high clear so it's going to be just completely clear and then this here is the black water washable resin all right so before i start putting this stuff into my printer i do want to show you what comes in the box so that you can check it out and if you want to pick up any of these for yourself check the link in the description i'm going to have links to amazon as well as direct from jangahi if you rather buy it directly from them and then i'll also put in any kind of promo codes that i might have to help you save a little bit of money but what i like about what they do is instead of just giving you the resin you can see that it comes with one pair of nitrile gloves you get the resin as well and then the filters the paper filters with the fine mesh screen that you use for filtering out your resin and then also check this out you get a little USB stick, you know, so you can put your files on this and then put this inside of your printer. So it's always great to get so many extra things. And right now you can pick up this resin for around the $27 mark, but you know, the prices can go up, they can go down. So it's important for you to check the link in the description as well as those promo codes. If I have them available, I will put them there. All right, so let's get started. I think I'm gonna start off with the high clear and see what I get and if everything is successful, I am going to continue on with the other colored water washable resins. So to test out this resin, I decided to use all three colors for one single diorama. And what you see here is a Jason Voorhees diorama sculpted by Wicked. I use their clear resin for Jason, his entire body, as well as the two signs for the Camp Crystal Lake in the Friday the 13th logo on the front. I thought that would be very fitting. And then I use the water washable black resin for the dock. And then I use their clear green resin for the foam foliage behind Jason. I'm gonna tell you what my experience has been like using this resin. Now, one of the things that was always very intimidating for me when I first started learning about resin 3D printing was I hear that it's quite difficult or at least not as easy to print with clear resin as it is with other types of resins. But fortunately, I haven't had a problem as far as getting prints to be successful with this. The normal layer exposure time that I used for this clear resin was five seconds for each normal layer. And for the bottom layer, it varied between 20 seconds and all the way up to 35 seconds. I haven't done anything special with this, Jason. Once I took them off of the build plate, I put them in a bucket of water because this is water washable resin. And then after I gave them a good scrub down in there, I dried them off and then I put them in my curing station to cure for three minutes. And those three minutes is all that was needed in order to get this guy nice and cured. And you can kind of just see what he looks like now. I've had him sitting out on a table receiving indirect sunlight for the better part of a week and a half, maybe even two weeks. And this is how he looks. So if you're concerned about yellowing when it comes to this clear resin in kind of a typical situation, I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing too much yellowing. I feel like I can see maybe a tiny little hint of it, maybe. Could just be my eyes, could just be the lighting in here, but it's definitely not standing out a whole lot. And for another comparison, I made another Jason, but this time I made different parts for him instead of it just being this one piece sculpture. And I decided to try to bring out the translucent nature of this resin by brushing a little thin clear coat of resin on top of the figure after I washed him and then I cured him. And that wasn't a very good idea. So the problem that I had with that is for some reason, that thin coat of resin that I put on top of the already washed and dried figure did not want to properly cure in my wash and cure station. It was always just a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky, and it would leave a residue on my glove. So that told me that it was definitely not cured. I cured it in that station for 
over a half hour and it was still feeling a little bit questionable after that. So instead of going through the trouble of brushing on a little bit of resin and then curing a figure, I think that it would be a lot less troublesome to just get yourself a can of clear high gloss spray paint and then just spray the figure down once you're done in order to bring back some of that nice, bright, shiny, translucent nature of it. And that's exactly what I did for these two signs right here. Here's a before and an after shot of the signs before I applied that clear clear high gloss spray paint and then after I applied the clear high gloss spray paint. Jason hasn't received any of that treatment but as soon as this review is done I'm definitely going to hit him with the high gloss. Now let's take a look at the foliage that I printed with the clear green resin and I really like how these plants turned out. They look really good and I think that is a great contrast between the black dock and the clear Jason and you can see down in the deeper recesses of this foliage you get a more full darker green but then as you get to the thinner parts, the green gets more translucent, gets more white, if you will. So it helps to produce a nice distinction and variation of colors. You can also see it down in these weeds here. Down towards the bottom is definitely a darker green, but as we go up towards those tips, it becomes a much lighter green and it just produces a very cool look. I really like how these came out. So if you're looking for foliage for things like trees or bushes and grass and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend checking out this resin for that because these little pieces turned out great. And then as for the black, the black turned out nice and smooth. I tend to stay away from black resins because I think that it hides detail a little bit too much. But when it comes to something like this for like a dock, I think it looks really good actually. Um, and the, the biggest thing about it is just it just looks smooth. It still maintained the detail. The Normal layer exposure time for this, I believe I had it set at about either 2.5 seconds or three seconds, and it just came out looking good. It still looks like wood. We can see all the little cuts and notches as it was designed for the wood, and I just think that it looks really good. Uh, so no problems using this water washable resin as far as getting successful prints. I didn't have any failures with this. It was easy to work with. However, one of the things that I do hear about water washable resin and one of the things to look out for is the brittleness of it all. Now, I haven't run into any direct problems with brittleness as far as things flaking off or breaking from some of the figures that I printed that I'll show you in a second, but I did have a bit of a problem getting those first layers off of the build plate. They were welded on there pretty good and it took a lot of scraping in order to get it clean. And as I was scraping off those first layers, the resin, the cured resin was just chipping off and it was quite brittle and it was like glass just flying all around my workstation. And it was definitely the hardest time that I've ever had trying to get off those first layers. Um, I've used bottom layer exposure times all the way up to 35 seconds and then as well as as low as 20 seconds. And even at 20 seconds, I was having some difficulty getting those to come off. I never had a clean separation and um, I tested some of John Hayes resin before this, their Nebula Gray resin, and I did not have any problems with flaking off of the first layers with that resin. I've reviewed some other resins right before that, and I haven't had that problem with those normal resins. It was only with this water washable resin did that become an issue. So that's something that's definitely worth looking out for, but the figures themselves came out looking really good. Let's take a look at some other ones that I printed. This is a steampunk Batman bust from Eastman that I printed with the black water washable resin and he looks really good. I thought that Batman would be a really uh, good subject to test this black resin and kind of just like the dock, you know, I think that smooth is the proper word for how this resin looks in the end. And he just came out looking really good. Nice details. You can even see like the little stitching for his steampunk cowl that also, or his jacket, whatever this is, the cape, that also came out uh, very nicely detailed and it looks really good. And I didn't have any problems with it. No failed prints for this and as well as the stand that I also printed separately. It all came out really good. And then I also used the clear green resin to print this uh, head of Swamp 
thing. Now this guy is completely hollow and that would uh, definitely explain why he looks more of a lighter green than a darker green because that's just kind of how it goes with this type of resin when it's translucent and clear. If you have solid figures, they're going to hold on to those darker colors a lot more than the lighter um, than the hollowed figures. They're gonna look more lighter. And I'll show you a couple more examples of some solid figures in a second. But even on this Swamp Thing, details on him looks very nice. Um, you can definitely make out all the nose and the brow and everything like that. So he came out also looking pretty good. And then if you want to see what some solid figures look like, here are some miniatures that I printed. These guys are orcs, so I thought it would be appropriate to have them as green. And as you can see with these orcs, the darker, they're really dark towards the middle because these are solid figures. And then on the thinner pieces for the arms and for the weapons, they look similar to the to the head on the Swamp Thing here. So on the more denser places, that's where the, the green really starts to stand. So all in all, this resin was pretty pleasant to work with, with the exception of trying to scrape off those first layers from the build plate. That was an exercise in patience, let me tell you. But the other reason why I thought this resin was pleasant to work with was because it feels like the water washable resin. It kind of gives you a sense of false security because even though you're still working with resin, when you are cleaning it with water, it makes it seem a little less harmful, which is totally not true because the IPA gives off a smell. And I feel like psychologically, when we smell things, it puts us a little bit more on guard. But with the water, there is no smell. And even when I took the black figures and put them in the water, they didn't tint the water black. The water still looks pretty clear for the most part, and it makes everything just seem so much nicer and easier and just more pleasant to work with. And that might start to lull you a little bit. So still make sure that you take all the necessary uh, safety precautions when you're working with water washable resin, because at the end of the day, it is still resin. As far as the brittleness goes, I haven't had a problem with brittleness, but then again, I am pretty careful when it comes to these figures and some of the more pointy bits like on this Batman here, this is not flaked off. Nothing is really just broken as a result of it, of it, of it just being way too brittle. Although for these miniatures, I wouldn't really trust these thinner parts to survive a fall. So you might want to be a little bit more careful when it comes to that. But you know, as far as general handling goes, I haven't had a problem with it. It's not to say that it's not brittle. It's just saying that I have not had any personal experience with that being an issue. So if you want to go an alternate route and not deal with IPA and you want to use water washable resin, I can strongly recommend this Zhang He resin because it has done a pretty darn good job for me. And these clear resins also turned out to look pretty good as well. So if that's the route that you want to go, I think that it's a safe bet that this is some good resin for you to use. Be sure to check the links down in the description to where you can find these. And if there's a discount available, if I have a code or something like that, I'll be sure to leave that down there too. So that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.